All right, welcome everybody to Aircraft Carrier Survival. We're going to be playing Aircraft Carrier Survival. And for those that don't know what Aircraft Carrier Survival is, we'll go ahead and give you a little brief description. So, when the harshness of the sea meets the cruelties of war, a challenge for perseverance makes itself known. And it is like no other. Welcome to Aircraft Carrier Survival, a simulator set in the merciless reality of World War II, where your prowess as a commander decides the fate of a naval behemoth. Welcome, everybody. So, yeah, this game, uh, I, I want to, before we, we talk more about it and jump into it, I want to say a quick thank you to the publishers for giving me a key to this game to check out. This game does come out tomorrow, um, so we are playing a day early, so I'm kind of happy about that. <laughs> uh, so, the developers of Aircraft Carrier Survival, and this is actually one thing that's kind of interesting to me, is Battleships Command of the Sea, but look at this, House Flipper City. Yeah, they try, and I don't know if it's a de developer thing or a publisher thing, but House Flipper City is another game that they're involved with. Um, and we've played one demo video on the channel of House Flipper City, so if you want to see House Flipper City, um, the video, uh, we have that, you just search it in the channel. It wasn't a very good review, but I hope that was a while ago, so um, <laughs> hopefully things have changed since. And then City of Atlantis, which actually is a game that just is completely, like, interesting and all, all together, right? Yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, quick shout to Hello Megan, Hello Shorty, Hello Jigganaut, uh, Hello Darren, Hello Queen, Hello Tommy, Hello Daniel Dunn, Hello everyone, Happy Late Easter, well, Happy Late Easter to you, Daniel Dunn, welcome, welcome, welcome. So, what do I expect out of this game for today? Well, we're, I think we should be streaming for just about a couple of hours, maybe more, if the game keeps my attention or keeps things fresh and rolling. I do expect this game to be kind of like Mr. Prepper, maybe. I'm going to be playing this completely blind. I have not loaded up the game. This is my first time loading up the game, so our experience together will be genuine. I have not watched any videos or anything on this game. So, let's see here. Do I dare do the tutorial campaign or the sandbox? Now, I'll be honest with you, totally did not expect there to be a tutorial campaign in sandbox. I thought we were just going to be going in scenario situations, but I'm glad that there is a campaign and a sandbox as well. We're going to do the tutorial. So carry maneuvers and officer orders, deck management and aircraft missions, defensive maneuver, maneuver, maneuvers, 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 sorry, maneuvers and damage control. Carry maneuvers and officer orders. So yeah, I'm going to be in and out here basically be talking to chat. This is another good game to have to talk to chat, which is really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was my Easter? It was good. My Easter was definitely, it was, it was good. It was good. Nothing to really complain about there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Nero, Nero, Naru, Naru Cage. Hopefully I said that right. Hello, Naru. Maybe I can call you Naru. How's it going? Chris Shetton, how you doing? Not stopping long as I'm watching Football Big Derby Day Manchester uh, United versus Liverpool. So we'll watch the replay. No problem, Chris. Thank you for uh, shouting out though. Good to see you. Mr. Prepper is a criminally underrated series of cans. You know, I think that's how this is going to play out, is Mr. Prepper. I think. And if it does, I won't be too upset, right? Hello, Pug. How's it going? Pug, I was looking forward to this game to see how it was when I was uh, on the USS Nimitz. Did I say that right? Is that Nimitz? a member? Hey. Let's yeah, go! Purple the Panther. Oh, shoot. Using to control the <laughs> Thank you for becoming Let's a member. Oh, baby. Good to see you. Oh, it's good to see you, Purple Panther. Hope you're doing well. Hello, Mana. Mana Forever, how you doing? Okay, here we go. Let's let's focus in. So, basic controls, WASD. Zoom in and zoom out. This is our freaking behemoth, dude. We begin by setting a waypoint. Please click the tactical map icon. This actually, now thinking about it, this actually might be a little bit more advanced than Mr. This Prepper. This is the tactical map menu. You can see our carrier's current position. I know, long, long load time at the, at the start, the right? And just for a tutorial. To direct our course, you must begin by clicking this marker. Okay, so we have our fleet, and we want to reach Next, a vantage point. Your ah, destination on the map. Well, this is cool, look Next, at this. Point one, our current goal is highlighted here. Perfect. Our course is set. Click to get so then, okay. We must now start the engines. Click the start the engine speed icon. Then click the desired speed to begin moving our fleet. Please select slow. Higher speeds are unavailable for now. 
Okay, so we basically, we, we, we look at the map and we say we want to go X, right? And then we can actually set a carrier speed, which is actually really cool. So dead slow, stop slow, half. I guess we want to go slow. For the oh, this is going to make me seasick. To <laughs> you can control the speed of the ongoing action. Use Shorty's the back on the loose. In the bottom right corner of the screen. Oh, I'm glad you're doing good, Purple, uh, purple, purple Panther. Oh, I'm glad you're doing good. It's good to see you again. After the time we spent, you know, that last time, you know, you know, a car detailing simulator. That was some something else, right? Okay, so use the time speed controls here, right? So we're moving from the time be uh, from the time being. We must wait for our strike group to reach its destination. You can control the speed of the ongoing action using the speed time controls. Okay, speed time controls, speed time like time, right? Yeah, down here. Jesus Christ. Okay. I mean, just send it, right? Oh my God, look at this. Okay, you control the end. Oh my Lord. Holy moly. Okay, so it takes some time to get there. It's our first destination. Okay. Traveling the seas depletes our resources. <laughs> Big bro, yeah? The carrier can still continue moving, but we cannot deploy any aircraft. We will discuss the finer points of variables relating to supply use later. To resupply the carrier, you must give the order. To get started, Open the order menu by clicking the icon below. Okay, so orders, obviously uh, current supplies issue a resupply ship order from the order menu. Okay, all right. Next, please click the resupply ship icon. So resupply ship, stop the carrier order. to begin the resupply procedure. Without supplies, your crew cannot perform the most flight deck operations. So I'm assuming we would have to come to a dead stop, yeah? You must now assign officers to the order. Officer's expertise in one of two fields, Navy or Air, is measured by numerical scores <laughs> shown beside their portraits. To execute an order, the assigned officer's collective scores must meet the requirements shown on that order's icon. Of course, you have expertise in both fields, Admiral. Click your portrait to assign yourself to the resupply ship order. Oh yeah, so um <clears throat> So it, it's it's yeah it's definitely historical World War Two which which actually I was really interested in about um, is this like a board game Battleship this isn't like Battleship no it's more of a um, it, it's gonna get more intense it's gonna get more in depth you know once we figure out the tutorials and all that you can now confirm the order by clicking the highlighted icon restocking while on the move was a trip resupply process oh yeah I see right here uh, November November well. I'm assuming November 5th. I, I am assuming it would be, yeah, November 5th, 1940, not May 11th. Now we must wait for the resupply procedure to reach completion. So with the resupply... We'll remind you, Admiral, that you can use the time speed controls to speed up the action while we wait. Oh, look at that. So, oh, what does that actually say? What does that say? The USS Saratoga. Okay. So, we sit here, wait for restock. Restock will come. I'm trying to see if there's like any like planes out because it's gonna oh no it's a boat it's a boat restock my bad i don't know why i was thinking planes yo look at that oh look at that look at that dude oh that's so good oh that's wonderful i love that little animation there yeah so once we get on board and we start talking about more on board oh <laughs> it's gonna get a little complicated so far um I would have to I would have to say that this game so far unique unique right this game does come out tomorrow guys so if you guys are interested Excellent. definitely um we should look into speed it speed for the journey toward our next destination to do so we will need more crew assigned to our navigation department click the this menu you can manage onboard personnel assigned to each department. onboard personnel drag and drop two additional crew units to the navigation department the walking animation indicates that they are still in the process of taking their position. You can also increase the speed of this action using the time speed control. Oh, uh, okay, I see. So we have different departments that we can control too. So anti-aircraft department, damage control department, uh, air department, medical department, engineering department, and navigation deck department. All which have a percentage as well. Um, so for this, we want to have another navigation. Is that what they want? Assign crew to the navigation department. They do. They want us to have another navigation. So we're going to go ahead and assign two more to the navigation department so that we have full stocked on navigation. <laughs> right? There we go. They will be walking there. So if we fast forward time, 
They should get there eventually, yeah? Okay, there. They are there. Okay, slow down time. Slow down time. Hey, Noah! Click the carrier speed icon and select full. Jack the Ripper says, basically, think of this game as more as likely as an advanced U-boat. That's interesting, because I never played U-boat. Jigganaut says, he does have a nice ship. <laughs> uh, Alright. So let's go full speed ahead, right? Next, we must set our course. Open the tactical map. And click <laughs> Need to put fleet. the brakes on there so many new games lately. And our destination. So we cannot travel as the crow flies. But we can plot a course of up to three waypoints by clicking on a series of points. Three waypoints. Our destination. Right click a waypoint to remove it. Okay. So our fleet is here and we can choose to go here. I'm assuming, right? We want to click here to go here and then there to go there. Ah, that's pretty cool. So that is like the basics of travel, traveling from one end to another end. All right, let's go to the next. There's only three tutorials, so that was the basics of moving, right? Now we're probably going to get into the nitty gritty of surviving, right? Admiral, we have received information about an unidentified object uh -oh. some distance from here. I recommend that we carry out a reconnaissance mission. Click the island or press three on your keyboard to begin the preparations. Okay, so if we click on the island here, this view shows the island where you and yes, your you look at this now. Coordinate the ship's operations. Each room provides a facility called a switch for carrying out three functions. Each room switch can only be set to enable one function at a time. Set the switch in the meteorology room to add one times recon mission. Okay, so um, the meteor meteor meteorology room enable weather information updates, adds plus one or one times airstrike mission or reconnaissance with the combat information center combat information center so that was the meteorologist in this case yourself admiral an officer will be temporarily unavailable while moving between rooms when you reach cic set the room switch to add one times identify targets mission the function enabled by the switch in the meteorology room will remain active even when there is no officer in the room uh <laughs> Does it have font sizing options in the settings? I don't think it. W I don't think so. Um, no, no, it does not. I know, right? I, I was thinking like maybe like a a bigger UI. Sometimes you could adjust the size of the UI, but not even that. It is very hard to see, right? It is. So okay, so one cat mission is that, or we want to take our admiral to the combat um, combat information center. And he gets there, right? Admiral gets there, maybe. And then we add one times identity or identify target missions. Now we can find out more about the information we received okay. by opening the tactical this is, map This menu. is a lot. Yeah. <laughs> here so, see let's see here. Of the unknown object represented by a marker. Let's return to the ah. and prepare a mission to find out more about it. I see. So, okay. So, now that we've done our research, kind of, our information, our intel, we can see that there's an unidentified object last reported zero hours ago. Next, Interesting. we must enter the deck view. Click the deck of the carrier. Use Here you can prepare the aircraft for dispatch. Oh, look at that. That's so good. Click the plus icon and select dive bombers to position a squadron on the deck. So then, once you, like... Planes being hauled onto the deck. Once you figure out that there's, like, some unidentified, you know, object somewhere... You might want to prepare a little bit, right? We want to add dive bombers. So there's uh, fighter aircrafts, there's dive bombers, and there's torpedo bombers. Click the That's plus pretty cool. Icon and position a second squadron of dive bombers. Sir. So a couple of dive bombers. Now they they get shifted up, yeah, through elevator, right? I think that's how it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see them being pushed out here. Okay, we don't need to do another, right? No, we just wait for them to get kind of set uh, set up here. Okay, we'll fast forward time a little bit. Look at that. Look how wonderful that is. Oh, that's so good. Missions currently available for execution are shown in the Makes me wonder what other carriers we get in the game. That's a good shout. The highlighted recon icon and click the prepare button. Then click your chosen target of the recon mission and click a place on the map to set it as the recovery area. <laughs> the place where you will pick up our returning planes. Gonna squint if case, you're playing on a 15-inch laptop. selecting our vessel's current location, sir. 
Click confirm to complete the plan. Okay, so dive dive bombers, right? Dive bombers, they can do recon. Looks like they're they they can do um, airstrike, identify targets, and recon. So send a team to examine any unknown objects on the map. I wonder if this is exclusive to dive bombers. Or unless any other uh, fleet not fleet, but any other um, any other uh, not the torpedoes, right? So, oh wait, hang on a second. I want to read this real quick. So we have dive bombers, torpedo, and the aircraft fighters. So aircraft fighters, can they do reconnaissance? I don't know, right? So we have eight in the hangar, six in the hangar now, but now we have two on the deck. I love this. This right here, these stats right here, love to see this. Especially anybody that's like really into these games, you know, this type of game. Defense, you know, we haven't really gone over mo mo most of the UI at all, which is kind of, you know, interesting. Uh, we have the deck, which is where we're at. I'm assuming there's four different levels that we can go into. I'm just kind of learning and seeing, you know, kind of getting grasp my uh, whole thing here. Okay, let's go into recon. We want to send them off. So prepare them to go ahead and look at this. Yeah, so now you can send them off and you can be like, hey, recon this exact area. Now, and then that's it, right? We don't, and then, like, we don't want you to, like, do anything else. Just that. Unless you want to recon. Cover, oh, recover area. So, okay, recon area and then recover area. We want to recover probably back at home. Yeah? I think that's what we want to do. Preparations for the mission are complete, Admiral. Oh, that's good. You can now close the map. We are ready to launch the All right, here we go. Now, I wonder how this all works. Recon icon in the ready section of the missions panel. Okay, so. Launch icon. The airmen will depart shortly. Time until obsolete. So, send a team to examine. We can go ahead and launch them. Let's see how this goes. Oh, look at it. Oh, dude. I wish I could, like... Can I, like, go over there? Like, free cam over there? You could see them piling in. To You know, they're getting the planes ready over there. I wish I could, like, ro like rotate over there. There might be a way, but I'm not sure yet. Oh, look at this. Then they, they, then they, they push forward here. Right? Is that enough clearance? You're going to have enough, like, enough space to, to send off here? And then they go! Oh, dude. Oh, very good. Half of the carrier's length? Is that enough freaking room to go? Oh my god. That's like a, maybe a quarter of the length. Alright, and then the, the other team's gonna roll out too. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's really good. That's pretty cool. That's definitely pretty cool. Will it go up on in history or will it stay in a uh, World War II era? I think it will stay in, stay in a World War II era. Yeah. It is really hard to see it. Maybe you, they'll update it where you can the make the UI bigger. I hope so. It is a little hard to see. The tactical map view, sir. Okay, the so with that, of a particular mission, hover the mouse cursor over the. Now we must wait ah. for their mission report. Ah. Admiral, you can speed up the passage of time by using the time speed controls. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll 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 speed up time so we can watch our little freaking planes fly <laughs> fly all the way over there. Right now they're there. Holy crap! Slow down. Okay, now they're checking it out. And then they're gonna recover. They found whales! <laughs> we must now prepare the deck for the recovery of our returning aircraft. Please click confirm to close the report and then close the tactical map. No enemies detected. We found a pot of whales. Everybody, calm down. On November 6th of 1940, we found a pot of whales. And we've used so much fuel in doing so. Fantastic. Now they'll be uh, recovering back home. Right, we'll watch them. They should be turning back around, yeah? Look at them. They're like hanging out there. Come on back home. There they go. There they come. They're coming back. <laughs> they had to like stick around just to make sure. I think they were just taking pleasure out of that. Click the deck right. management icon above. I'm waiting to see if we get a Yorktown class carrier. That'd be an extremely glorious, glorious day. I wonder if some recon missions are so are so far away the plane cannot recover back to the carrier. I don't know. I, I think that would go everything against um, everything against uh, going out. I think they have like measurements, right? You would you would assume they would be like we can only go so far out because once you go so far out, you can't come back, right? I don't think, think they had catapults back then and just went down the runway. <laughs> Can you take out... <laughs> no, not I, not in forty, not in 1940s. I can't do that. <laughs> well, watching at the taxpayer's expense. 
they just wanted to say hi. Oh, that's so good. Okay, so deck management. So our recovery and then our launch, right? So I guess uh, deck state recovery. Click the prepare for, for. Okay, so we have to prepare the deck, right, for recover. Let's see here. This is gonna be pretty cool when they do land. Here in the recovery section of the panel below. Okay, let's recover. Over the highlighted icon to open the panel and then click the recover button. All right, here they come. You can hear them. Where are they gonna come from though? They have to land, yeah. I mean, they have to. Oh. Yo. There they are. Okay, what? They stopped so sudden? They, like, drop. They don't even, like, f come in and hit the brakes, dude. They just drop in on sight. I mean, I don't know. Unless these, you know... I, I know these planes are, like, non-comparable to the to the fighter jets and even to the, you know, F-18s that, that scounge through the air nowadays. But, I mean, that, that was just, like, you know, drop. <laughs> We're here. That's very cool, though. I love the animations that they have for this game. It's pretty neat. So now it's in a recover state, right? Is that where the, they kind of chill out and hang out now? Is that the that's that like the the beginning, right? The the front of the um, the front of the ship. Here comes the other fleet coming through. Other squadron, whatever you want to call it, right? I don't know the technical term. Like they just oop, drop. They don't like boom and then hit the brakes. <laughs> Perhaps the plane could recover an allied airfield on ground. Landing animation could be a bit smoother. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Let's go ahead and fast forward the time. There we go. Completed successfully. That was pretty sir. cool. Click the deck management icon again and set the deck state back to launching. To okay, so now. Further missions. So you recover your planes, and then once you recover your planes, then you put them back into the launching deck. So I guess we would now push them back all the way. They're in the recovery. Now we push them back to launching so that we can get them ready to launch again if we ever needed them to go and launch again, right? Holy crap, that was fast. Okay, there they are. <laughs> back at the end of the ship. Received information regarding another potential target. Another potential target? I'll run through the reconnaissance process again. Hover over the recon mission icon below. Click the prepare button. Then set the mission's target and recovery area in the tactical map. Okay. Followed by clicking confirm. Okay, so use the missions panel below to launch the mission. Okay. Later, set the deck state to recovery and recover the aircraft as before. Okay. So there's a there's a few things they want us to do. They want us to go and re, you know there's another potential set of whales <laughs> over here. We want to recover over back at our fleet. Um, we have now. It's basically the game letting us do it on our on our own, right? Congratulations. Go do it on your own now. Okay. This is a four-hour venture here. So we're gonna go ahead and send them off. We'll wait here. They'll start to take off. I I feel like once you get more and more into the game, you're gonna be using the fast forward, you know, fast forward time mechanism quite often. Oh, we should probably launch them. Yeah, I didn't I didn't launch them. Now I am. Okay, so there they are. They're gonna be going out. Hopefully they don't get shot down. Okay, here we go. Your scouts have detected an enemy. Probably the Imperial, right? The, uh, is that what they were called? The Imperial? Or I guess, you know, the Japanese, right? The Toyo Fleet. Uh, your scouts have detected an enemy. All right, very well. Uh, question mark, question mark, question mark. The, looks like their attack is 14 to 18. Their defense is 22 to 25. Right. So now we probably want them to come back. They do. They come back. Wonderful. Okay, slow down time. That's what we've, we, we've done. Okay. Uh, now that it sh they should be coming in, right? They should be coming in. Just fast forward time. Wait for them to recover. Uh-oh. The flight deck's not prepared. Sorry. I got to get the flight deck prepared, right? Recovered. There we go. Now they're ready to come in. Okay. So now recover. I don't have to, like, add them, right? Dive bombs? No, no, no. I don't need to recover. Just go ahead and recover. There we go. Okay. So now they'll come in. I see. There they go. There they are. Okay, cool. Discovered enemy vessels nearby. Now we'll switch them over to launching. To determine the fleet strength. Hello, Rob. For engaging it in combat. Hope everyone's doing well. Open Hope you're doing well, Rob. And change the state back to launching. An identify target's mission can then be prepared and launched in much the same way as a recon mission. Imperial Japanese Navy. Oh, look at that. There we go. This is the free cam, I guess. Ish. Kind of. 
Okay. So, now we are putting them back to launch. They are back to launch now. Fantastic. Okay, so now identify targets. So, how would we identify targets? So, we would send the dive bombers out. Send a team to identify each individual target of an enemy fleet. Let's prepare that. We want to go and identify this target, and then we want them to recover, yeah? A little bit of back and forth, back and forth, right? Um, who knows, you know? I, mean, I, I can't imagine, like, out in, like, in real life, man. You know how, like, anxious I would be? Just, like, first of all, like, sitting out in the freaking middle of the ocean is already anxious enough, right? You know? But, my lord. Just waiting. It's, like, more of a waiting. Waiting for something. Not waiting for something to happen, but waiting for that moment, right? Okay. So, we have now identified the targets. The two two targets that were in question is one a destroyer and one a submarine your airman your airman successfully identified the enemy targets okay very good okay now they're gonna come back hopefully i don't know if they can get shot down if they are um you know if they're not recovered right away that's running out of time okay yeah we're fine okay slow down time let's go ahead and get our deck back into like <laughs> back into recovery mode there we go is approaching landing yeah 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 yeah. okay that will repair we should maybe like the middle piece is not like a good like not a bad you know not bad at all okay everyone needs to go into recovery so since we only sent out one fleet the other fleet here has to go all the way over to recovery in order for this fleet to come back into recover i see now okay now we should be able to recover, to recover they will come in very good All right, they have now been recovered, and then we can put them back at launch. Okay, I'm starting. I'm starting to feel like the whole mechanic of going and leaving, departing, leaving, leaving, coming and going. Right, I'm starting to feel this all together. Doing all right. Dealing with some allergies, mixed with a little bit of a cold. But otherwise, I, you know, I had that like a few weeks ago, and it, it's annoying. It's very much annoying, Rob. I hated it. Okay, so now that we have this, let's go ahead and click on our island, right? Honestly, I would probably want to be, like, in launch mode now, not recovery mode, but, you know, the game won't let me do that, but that's fine. Click the Meteorology Room Admiral. There, you can set the switch to add one times airstrike mission. Okay, so now we want to add, we want our Admiral to go to the me meteor Meteorology, Jesus Christ, Meteorology Room, and add a airstrike mission, right? So we want to hit two. Right. Airstrike. Now, you can use the deck management panel to set the deck to its launching state, sir. Okay. So, with dive bombs, I'm assuming dive bombs is what we're going to be using for against submarine. Well, not submarines, but at least for the for the carrier or the destroyer. Right. Um, submarines. What do we use for submarines? Do they take dive bombs or do they take torpedoes? Right. I guess maybe the, the vice versa. Maybe torpedoes take out no carrier. Well, I guess anything really takes out a carrier, you could say. We can only manage three squadrons on Or you could deck. fight anything. It's insufficient for an attack, of course. Okay. Let's open the crew management menu to allocate the staff we need. Does okay, let's see here. Five squadrons for the airstrike. We need to assign two crew units to the air department. Begin okay. By dragging and dropping the first unit. The unit is on its way, sir. Now you can assign another. Okay, so air department, we're going to need a couple of people to run the department. Healthy crew unit. This is interesting, especially when it comes to, like, the engineer, like, air department. The description for it is each assigned unit provides an extra slot for squadrons on the flight deck. For our strike. Let's return to the ship. Higher efficiency increases the time that returning aircraft can wait for recovery. Okay. Prepare an airstrike mission using the panel below, sir. Okay, prepare. Once you have selected our target. Oh, God, here we, we go. Can prepare our attack strategy. Now, this is interesting. Um, it shows, obviously, the destroyer, the submarines, and things like that. But it says last reported three hours ago. So, in that three-hour span, I know it's kind of, like, unlikely. But they could have potentially moved somewhere. Now, they're not going to be moving far, but they're in that vicinity, right? Obviously. It's like a freaking chess match, is it not? This is the menu for preparing Yo. our attack strategy, Admiral. Ah, look at this. Hard. Love this. Each represented by a card. There are three oh, now there's like a card members. mini game into it. Offensive, red. Defensive, blue. And supportive, green. You can switch between these categories by clicking the tabs to the left of the car. This is cool. For this assault, sir, I recommend that we place the offensive maneuver, anvil attack, in slot number one. 
Slot number five would be an ideal place for a defensive maneuver, Jinky. Does we require more defense? I suggest allocating supportive maneuver strike from the sun to slot number two. So this is very interesting, adding a card element to the game. Now this is probably a surprise to most. Uh, it's definitely a surprise to me. Uh, but this is really, really, really cool. Cause I do like, in I enjoy card games um, on the on the cash, right? On the casual. But take a look at this. So we have, you know, we want to lock in the target. We want to lock in the destroyer. The destroyer is 14 out of 18. That's the target's attack. 14 out of 15 for its defense. And then the submarine just can't attack for us or with, you know, can't attack us. But the defense is very, very low. Now, the only card we have here is an attack card. Uh, we do have a defense card. And we do have a support card. So, uh, our attack card. And I love how it has, like, this little animation when you hover over it. I think that's really a nice little touch there. Attack and defense of maneuver number four five which is here plus 125 percent so this is the first thing we want to do we want to attack and we want to defend right uh attack of maneuvers number one and number five plus 75 they give each other all bonuses of some sort yeah uh whoops striking from the sun attack maneuvers of number one and number two interesting so you can see how it actually uh, buffs up so now we have that attack 15 and then we have uh, the defense still at three and then the attack has now changed to nine this is striking from the sun now let's go to the defense and then jinking it which then increases everything else right of my recommendations yeah. admiral this is cool please click the confirm button as always we need to specify the recovery area where our airmen will wait for pickup for the purposes of this mission i suggest clicking the current location of our fleet so to kind of like put it in uh, strike from the sun attack of the maneuvers number one and number two uh, plus four so it would be this plus this right and then over here I'm just kind of like recapping attack of maneuvers of number one and number five so would be plus 75 percent now all together we would be sending off a strike of 52 damage and then having a defense of 25 which if you take a look this destroyer is going to get destroyed <laughs> so confirm <laughs> we want to make a recovery so they don't stand a chance confirm, right sir. next we hey Monique how's it going good to see you our squadrons for the mission we already have the necessary dive bombers on deck in addition we need three more squadrons for this engagement one of fighter aircraft and two of torpedo bombers once they are ready the mission can be launched I'm not a huge card uh, card game person other than regular 52 uh, playing cards. I was never into Pokemon or Magic the Gathering, stuff like that. Well, uh, I don't play uh, I don't play Pokemon myself. I don't play Magic the Gathering, but stuff like uh, Hearthstone, you ever play like games like Hearthstone? Um, that those games I find I find enjoyable. Those types of games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Hi Monkey King, how's it going? Welcome back. Good to see you again. The Destroyer of Destroyers sounds like a warrior title. You best believe it, baby. <laughs> okay. Um, so now that we have this attack going through, uh, I think then we can go ahead and prepare. Right? So return to the deck and prepare the aircraft. So we want to click here. This should actually all be like... We need all... You need all... Okay, so for this attack, you need all different kinds of planes you need uh you need at least two dive bombers which we have one but you need two uh, torpedoes and you need one aircraft fighter or fighter aircraft so we got to get one aircraft or fighter aircraft we need two torpedoes coming in too ah that's really really nice okay cool so now we have the different aircraft coming through and of course they have different models which is awesome to see let's have them push it out let's see here oh, look at those little sons of guns look at them look at that love that Okay, let's see what the torpedo planes look like. And I love how, like, it, it does, um, you know, it takes time to, like, set this up. It's not, like, an instant thing. It takes time to set these uh, fleets up. So cool, though. Always good. Just happy to be here. Glad to see you all in, of course, watching you in action. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're doing it. We're, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it well, right? We're representing queens. Because she was raised down in Brooklyn. We all know. Hey! War. 
What is it good for? Great timing. <laughs> Leslie, that probably was like the best on par super chat cue ever. Notification ever. Thank you, Leslie, for that. Very, very generous of you. Five, five dollars, five super chat. Really, really do appreciate that. Thank you so much, Leslie. Hi, Leslie. How are you doing? Good to see you. Um, that, that was perfect timing. <laughs> oh, my God. War, what is it good for? All right. <laughs> All right. Now they're going to be doing their thing. They're going to be coming through over, right? Oh, that was so good. There they go. They're going to be off on their mission now. There they go. That was so good. And we just got to wait for them to all leave. Let's go and fast forward the time just a little bit more. Okay, so now they're all up in the air. Wait for the outcome of the attack. When the report comes in, you can click the play button to watch the events unfold. <laughs> we must recover our planes upon their return. Remember to change the deck state to recovery so that they can land, sir. Okay, so uh, let's go to... I would like to go to the map, right? We want to go to the map and see how this uh, all plan pans out, right? Because that's our ongoing mission. Everything's going to be switched over to now recovery. Recover the airstrike mission. But, like, I, I want to see the map. I want to see them fly over there. We are in the recover state now. And they'll take, like, an hour or two. Look at that, down there. About an hour and a half. Give our little bit of summary results. So our results are the enemy losses and your losses. F. Oh, okay. I see. Um, wait a sec. What? Enemy losses and your losses. Enemy losses, they lost a, a destroyer and a submarine. And then your losses, you would kind of think as in like, oh, we lost dive bomber, fighter aircraft, torpedo bombers, and all that. None of your planes, however, were damaged. Your airmen destroyed all of the enemy targets. Well, that's cool. Now, this is interesting. Now, we have a confirm button, but we also have what looks to be like play trailer button. Oh. Oh, you get a little like cut scene of like what happened. Oh, that's a nice touch. There's the torpedoes coming in. Dive. Or, sorry, that's a torpedo right there. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's, that's, that's awesome. That's really good. Oh, I love that. That was really good. Good job, game. Very good job. Wonderful. All right. Now let's go ahead and recover our planes. Here they are. Move them over. Quickly, quickly, quickly get them over here. And that was it, right? There's our last one. Okay. Made aware of yet another target to reconnoiter at. Now let's go back into launching. Just that we launch a recon mission to determine what's there. Go to the island to set the appropriate switch. Change what an appropriate super chat song. And then launch the mission. You felt the same thing about Hearthstone? Hello, hello, hello. Got to clip that awesome timing. I don't know, right? I'm home alone and feeling lonely. Let's 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 do let's do this. Also avoiding college work. Oh God, Jace. I feel you like you can just avoid work all in general how about that <laughs> that's a nice touch yeah it is a very nice touch in the game I, I do like that that's really cool so we have another hang on a sec what's this say the mission has not been activated in the island okay so land launch uh launch and recover a recon mission which is what we okay so launch and recover so we got to go over to our island right um uh, sorry we got to go over to our island right to do this Hang on a sec. Let's let's slow it down a little bit. Um, are they? Are they? They should be all in the launching. Yeah, they're all in the launching. Okay. Um, we should be able to go. Oh my God, dude! Look at this. You don't even know. Look at all this that we don't know about. Okay, the island. This is where I want to go. So the island. We want to do a, a recon mission now. We want to set that up. Okay. So now that we have that set, then we should be able to afford to prepare for a recon mission. And we have a question mark way off over here, which looks like to be on land, I think. I'm not really sure. And then we'll recover back. Okay. I'm starting to understand. I'm starting to get it here. And then we'll get that going on. Let's go ahead and prepare that, which we already did. Sorry. I didn't mean to do that again. There we go. Right? Okay. Now, how does this all work? If we prepare, right? Oh, wait, do we have to, sorry, I had to do to launching? No, we're already launching. Clear the flight deck. A plane is approaching land. Oh, we're still recovering one plane? 
No way. There's no way. No, no, no. We're, we're, we're launching. We're, we, 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 we've done it all. We've done it all. Oh, I guess... Okay. I'm so confused. Okay, we just moved everything over there. You idiot. Bring it back. Okay. Go and recon. Prepare. <clears throat> recon this. Come back. Confirm. I'm an idiot. There we go. I just needed to confirm it. Okay, so now that it is confirmed, they will go out. Right? They should be able to do it now. Launch them. And there they go. Okay, good. I like how they move them, uh, move the others out of the way too. That's that's a nice touch. They don't just like spawn or like glitch right through them. That's really good. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Let me just like turn on my fan real quick because I it, it is getting a little little fucking toasty here. There we go. There we are. Oh, that's a good nice breeze. Very good nice breeze. I'm gonna finish Telltale Walking Dead Michonne DLC while I watch. Oh, that's so good. I have the, I don't know if you, uh, if you're, if you're playing it yourself, I have a whole Walking Dead series on the channel too, which I had a lot of fun. It was a blind playthrough. A lot of good things. I've seen a couple of guys hanging out on the crow's nest. I'm crocheting a baby blanket while watching. I'm, ho I'm hoping to get a lot done. That's awesome. Love to see that. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. Shout out to you, Purple Panther. We, we talked about you in the last stream, I think, briefly, because um, somebody, asked, I forgot what it was, someone, someone said something, and then we mentioned you, and then, like, they're like, oh, Purple Panther? Sounds like a hell of a drug. I'm like, you don't even know. <laughs> okay, so, uh, now with that, we're back here. Let's go ahead and see. We want to put recovery mode. Restart the deck. Prepare for recovery. So, the one thing about recovery mode is it does take a little bit of time to move these planes over to recover. And then we can go ahead and recover and then we can see what we actually got from that i guess reconnaissance right the there report states that it's an enemy base sir we must thoroughly identify the targets within the base before we can strike okay so we've identified that it's a base right it's a japanese base imperial base um so now we got to how do we do this we 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 send um we identify the targets right so identify the targets so we're gonna need to prepare um, a identify target scheme here. So we go over to the base, tutorial base. I like how it calls it tutorial base. We'll go do that and then we'll come back and we'll do that. Then we will launch that. Here we go. Very good. Okay. Now we will go ahead and launch it. It's like, I feel bad. These guys are like back and forth, back and forth, like one end, one end to the other end, to the other end, to the other end. Okay. Launch them off. Send them. Very good. They're going to go do that job. And they'll come back. Looks like they have discovered that it is an airstrip and large hangars, which doesn't really pose so much of a threat other than housing um, aircrafts, right? That's very good. Then they'll come back. Let's go ahead and switch up, bring our deck back to recovery mode, so that we can make sure that these planes can lad, land, lad, land when they do get back. All right, recover. We and they are back. Of the base, so we're back in launch mode. Strike. In the strategy menu, you can see that the enemy has blocked one of our offensive maneuvers. So we must consider. It's just nice to have someone talking in the background while husband is at work. And that that you know that alone, I I totally get that. I totally get that. Absolutely, totally get that. That's kind of like one of the reasons. Like when I watch YouTube, um, and like editing videos, you know, or even like when I play casually like when i play games on my casual time i have my other monitor going with some you know some youtubers I, I i watch and stuff like that as well i totally get that so now we have that we got to go over to our um island and we need to prepare airstrike so have an airstrike mission so this is it right here airstrike mission now prepared okay so let's go back to our deck now that we have that done let's go ahead and prepare for the airstrike and take out this tutorial idea, base Let's place Jinkin in slot number one. As you can see from the description on the card, this maneuver boosts maneuvers in slots number one and number five. I would then recommend placing the strike from the sum maneuver in slot number three. Okay, so there's a lot of different ways to go about this, right? Um, obviously, so striking from the sun, we want to put at five, sorry, three, and then Jinking, we want to put at one. Please note the summaries in the boxes below, sir. 
These provide information about the current configuration of our strategy, such as its outcome. As you can see, our current strategy will ensure the safe return of our pilots and the total destruction of the enemy base. Okay. If you approve, sir, please confirm the strategy and set the recovery area on the tactical map. That's interesting. We'll then be ready to launch. That's interesting. So this strategy ensures the safety of your pilots. All of the dispatch squadrons will return from the attack. So it tells you that your chances of your of your squad squadrons coming back are like, yes, they're coming back. All they're doing is they're taking out an airstrip and they're taking out a hangar, right? Um, so I, it's it's weird. It is weird that the game ensures you that total destruction will will happen and all your people will come back. In real life, it's never a guaranteed, you know, whether or not you do get your squads back or not. There could be faulty anything, faulty planes, faulty, you know, pilot errors, whatever it is. Pilots could go down or an engine could blow out, right? It's never a guaranteed thing. So that's kind of an interesting thing there. But nonetheless, it is a game after all, right? So let's go ahead and strike an airstrip. And like, th this is no threat. Like, we, we don't need to worry about a lot. We don't need to send a lot of firepower over there. 19 attack, 13 defense send me off and we will recover back at home here we go all right so now we will let them go ahead and launch Start engines. send that attack off it's like yeah it's like basically like the slow end recover our planes there is some uh oh so there we go i want to watch the the, the little cutscene for the uh for like land targets there let's see I wonder if different cards show different maneuvers and things like that. Look at that. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Also, I'd like to mention, Admiral, in this case, we were able to draw up a strategy to defeat the enemy with one airstrike, but this is not always possible. Oh, that's good. When organizing our strategy, we can select a particular target within a base or fleet represented by a card shown on the right side of the strategy menu to select it for attack. Okay, so we can destroy the targets one by one over a number of airstrikes. Ah, okay. So there there's different um different strategies you can take all together. So it's not always kind of like the same how it how it hits like that. I see. All right. Well done. Over to the next tutorial. Sure, dude. Let's send it, dude. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> We hello k word of an imminent enemy hopefully i said that right. i mean yeah it's k i mean hello k jerizik jerizik hopefully i said that points. but k at least on the nonetheless in the top left corner of the screen hover your cursor over the defense meter for more information um my mom has her quilting room and watches tv while working on her machines and that's you know even danielle like danielle yeah, she does a little bit of crafting, but she does a little bit of sometimes sometimes she's done in the past like a little bit of, you know, fabric and and and, and sewing and things like that and she always like right, you know, watches YouTube. She watches like the uh the the crime the crime girls, the girls that do their makeup and talk about crime stories. That's what she's been watching a lot lately. I'm only on blanket level because that's all I've made, but I want to start making baby booties. Oh, that's awesome. Baby booties. That'd be wonderful. I had someone in the discord tell me that she does. Uh, she made fabric for her guinea pigs, you know, for, for the guinea pigs that like, like Our bedding. Groups escort and I thought that was a really cool thing. Defense value shown on the highlighted escort icon. So if you look at this icon to continue. So we're all about defense here now. Okay. Now I got to turn off my fan. Now I'm freezing. We need to assign crew to a specific department. Please open the crew management menu to get started. Okay, let's look into the crew management. It looks like we're all talking about uh, defense here. By assigning personnel to the anti-aircraft department. One point for crew unit. Drag and drop a crew unit there now. Okay. The number of available slots in the department can be upgraded later, sir. Okay, so that person will get there. Hang on a sec. Wait till that person gets there. Walking to the anti-aircraft department. <laughs> And he's not walking to the Home Depot, is now. You can now exit this menu, sir. Okay. Ordering our ship's escort to assume a defensive formation will also increase both of our defense values. This can be achieved by launching a defensive position order. Select this order from the orders list. Assign yourself to the task admiral, and then confirm the order. Okay. So our defense was that one. Once we put the anti-aircraft department up and running, it gave us a plus one. 
this is all this is this is all big here right so defensive position we can put ourselves in a defensive defensive position so order your carriers escort to assume a protective formation increasing the defensive effectiveness of your fleet plus two carrier defense and plus one escort defense okay and then we have Better get to it. our officers or admirals right in the island view we can send an officer to the combat information center to set the switch to add how do he went down i see cap mission enabling a combat air patrol mission oh i see okay so um we want him to add a one times cap yeah or recon are we wanting no no we want him to do you must a cap enter yeah the deck view admiral position two squadrons of fighter aircraft on the deck to okay. prepare the cap mission Okay. Remember that you can see the planes required for a mission by hovering over its icon below, sir. Launch the mission, and you'll see both our carriers and escorts' defense values increase by two points. Oh, I see. So, uh, defense position because we put our position into defense now. We've added to our defense, right? Then we have a cap. Send a combat air patrol to boost the target's defenses. Your fighters will help defend against incoming enemy attacks. Um same thing i think yeah all three are the same yeah they're all three the same so launch launch aircraft okay let's see here are they gonna like fly around like fly above us i'm kind of interested to see how that is i've actually never been confident enough to try a blanket good luck and have fun with branching out let's try to be a carrier fully there uh there's trying to keep your carrier fully operational and survive the war and possible Possibly become a ghost like Enterprise did. I'd be curious if veterans would feel comfortable yes, playing this I type of game, or would it be traumatic? Be um, <clears throat> so, from, uh, like, from personal view, like, not personal view, but personal experience with veterans within the family of mine and people that I know, um, it really depends, uh, PTSD, especially having uncles and grandfathers that were in, uh, like, Vietnam, for an example, um, in the Korean War. Uh, stuff like this. They, they wouldn't play games like this. They wouldn't watch movies like this because, yes, that would, that would definitely uh, trigger some kind of emotion. But it all depends on your experience in the war, whatever war you were in, right? It all just depends on the experience. But, yeah, it, yeah, it could definitely do that, Leslie. It definitely could do that. Any game out there really could that involves war. Is in the pilot briefing room, Admiral. Move your available officer there. In this room, you can send. Yeah, I know an uncle that he was in. Defense to give our carrier's defense value another boost. Wait a sec. Switch to add plus one carrier defense. Okay, adds. Yeah. We are almost ready, sir. I had an uncle who couldn't watch private saving private ryan ships just because he was in the vietnam war it's just you know to do this we begin by opening the escort some people can't do it so for ptsd you know you know and, and and that's fine that's totally fine right obviously um i mean it's not fine because of the mental state that they're in but some people do have that trouble right click the heavy cruisers play button. oh look at this atlanta oakland here for this ship's active ability one to raise our carrier's defense, the other to raise our escort's defense. Okay. Each of these options raises one of two defense values. Other ships' abilities will raise both. For now, click the carrier defense button. So ability, so increase defense, add two to the defense value of the carrier or your escort. This duration for three hours only, right? Um, we want to do this for our carrier defense. Excellent, Admiral. We are now in a much better position to defend Nine against defense. enemy attacks. You can click the incoming. Oh, I see the radar here. The radar to see the approaching forces. I Consider see the value of the enemy's attack strength in comparison to our carrier's defense. We must I now see. wait to see how the battle unfolds. So you check the radar. You see, oh, incoming F. Um, <laughs> and then like, oh, what's gonna happen, right? We have an attack strength of eight. Oh, look at this. You can see them coming, dude. Oh, this is sick. Oh, this is really cool. So it looks like they have. Oh my god. Look at this. They are coming in hot. Wow. This is really cool. So now we are all defended up. We're all ready to fight. We have defensive positions, island bonuses, anti-aircraft, escorts, caps, strike groups. We have uh, fighters above, ready to fight, ready to defend. 
We have a boost, of course, right? Oh, this is good. This is really good. I just love the, like, anticipation here, right? <clears throat> I know, it's hot in here. Five minutes later, it's freezing in here. That's how, that's how good my fan works, right? That just shows you how good that son of a gun is. Okay, so look at them. Now they're coming in. There's our aircraft. You can vaguely, vaguely see it, but it is coming. It is coming. Take a look at that. Oh, my God. Here we go. Okay. So we just sit here and wait. <laughs> oh, dude, there they go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to see. I want to see. I want to see from above. We successfully repelled the attack. Wow. However, our defense values have decreased. Some of the effects of the measures we took to raise our defenses were temporary. I, good job. Your airmen clashed with the enemy. Some of their planes require urgent repairs. Oh. Having been put to use. How cool is that? Mission or worn off over time. Hover over the carrier's defense meter for more information. Okay. In the crew management menu, we lost the anti-aircraft department and a cat mission. In the cannons, so they won't be available for other tasks for some time. Yeah, we got damage control. We need to exactly. Any man to damage control. As always, we must wait for the units to take their positions in DC. Once we have enough personnel assigned to DC, we'll have an effective workforce ready to we can form one damage control team from the island. Okay, now they have damage control up and running. Let's go back to our island. You must first move an officer to the highlighted navigation room. Okay, move them up to navigation room, I guess. Crazy. My grandfather was in the Navy in World War II. He was classified as a pharmacist aide. Now you just, just, you just continued it, didn't you? <laughs> The U.S. Navy in the world is is the world's second biggest air force. One times DC um, after the U.S. or uh, United States Air Force, because they realize planes are far cooler than ships. <laughs> is that it? Is that is that what it is? Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. So uh, damage control. Add one damage DC control team. In place. Repairs can begin. All right, so Enter let's see the here. Sections view to watch DC deal with the damage. There's been a malfunction in the engine section, Admiral. To assign the DC teams to repair this, click one of their portraits in the damage control panel. I see. Okay. Select malfunction repair, represented by a cogwheel icon. Okay, so uh, we want to grab, I guess, crew quarters, cogwheel. Excellent. There we go. Now we need to wait for the malfunction. This guy's gonna run and get there. Anything else on the ship that is? Hurt? Yes. Okay, hammer spot and cogwheel potentially. Um, maybe? What is this actually? Hang on a sec. We'll, 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 we won't jump ahead of the game. We'll let the game do its thing. We'll go ahead and finish off this. Sir, a yeah. broke out in the hangar. Yo! We must assign one of our teams to firefighting duties. Firefight! Just in time. Jesus. He is dealing with the fire as God, well. damage control is out of control. <laughs> <laughs> okay hurry up and get there take out the fire so remember when i said that this game kind of reminded me or maybe felt like um uh, uh mr like mr prepper the series i was completely wrong about it this is definitely nowhere near like mr prepper dc team must be assigned to deflooding duties Deflooding? Our men in DC are dealing with this, sir. There's flooding? Oh, way over here. Finish pumping out the water. Oh my god, they're just everywhere. How are you supposed to know where all this Oh, I guess you can zoom out, huh? Yeah. Okay, damage control, get it going here. You gotta go clear across the ship. There you go. Oh, you can actually see it flooding. As well as assigning Sick. tasks to DC teams. You can also take There is already an officer in the navigation room. Okay. In there. You can set the switch to the function label. Boost and gain direct control of DC. Oh my God. That, so there's so much information, right? There's so much even micromanaging that you have to like, uh, remember like, oh, by the way, let's go to the island and tell our Admiral to be like, oh, navigation room, boost the, uh, and, and gain direct control of, of the DC Some rooms, right? Some of injured, sir. Well, Great. injured crew will receive first aid from DC teams assigned to medical duties in the okay. damage control panel. You can also tend to them quickly by sending the DC team directly to the segment marked 
with the cross icon. Select a DC team from the panel. Okay. And then click the segment where they are needed. We must not delay, sir. Okay, run over here. Grab your grab your boy. He's hurt. He he hurt himself. He got burned, possibly. I, I have no idea what's wrong with him, actually. You were the one on fire duty, so I'm not really concerned. Okay, you my man. Switch over yeah, heal up. Heal him. No no no. Heal him. We were able to save our injured ship. Oh, Alright, we we saved him. Look at he's carrying him! They would still be alive. Okay. Mortal danger. The units portrait in the crew management menu would then be marked with a to make the medical department operational. Medical department? Oh, we need a doctor, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, there's so much little, right? Little stuff going here. Panel marked with a cross symbol. Ah, I see. The unit will be inactive. So this navigation department person is now hurt. The crew management. He will be on a debuff, right? Um, it says that if not healed in the sick bay, this unit will die in 10 hours. Right, okay. I see now. Another enemy airstrike is imminent. Another enemy airstrike? Oh, shoot, dude. Uh, not good. Bring me up to the deck. Okay, so we got to prepare ourselves, right? Prepare ourselves. So, first thing we need is someone... Um, uh, let's go to our people, if we can. Or, no, no. We need our... We need our... We need our... Uh, uh, bad boys out. Yeah, yeah. Wait for the enemy to strike. Wait, wait. Do we not have an option? We can't, like, go ahead and try to prepare for this defense? We have to just take it? I guess we take it? I guess we, it's a learning thing, I guess. I don't know. I don't want to just take it, but I guess the game's going to let me have to take it. So I just got to wait for it. Attack, but the carrier sustained significant damage. You okay. must coordinate the repair, sir. De sir, damage control is... All right. Okay. Yo, yeah, hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Damage control is needed. Yeah, you think, dude? Hang on. Damage control. Damage control. Let's go. Come on, everybody on fire duty. Let's run it out. What the hell is happening? Things are escalating way too quickly. Okay. Just I guess let it be. I love the mapping on the ship. Cool to see all levels at once. It technically is like a city on the ocean, right? Depending on, you know, the carrier, most carriers are kind of like that. It's they're, they're so big, right? They're so massive. It's like a little city on the ocean. Hello, Daniel Ramos. <clears throat> it's a lot of micromanaging. At least that's my papa told. That's what my papa told me. He was in the Navy. That's true. I mean, there's not much, you know. All hands on deck when there's a fire. Yes, okay, so we want to repair, right? Repair. This should be repaired. Right? I can tell him to go there. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, hang on. Oh, my God! Yo! Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Dude, like, it's everywhere. The fire is everywhere. Okay, very interesting. Uh, let's just like, you know, hold on tight. There we go. There's our guy. He's coming through. He's coming to put out the fire. We didn't start the fire. It was only uh, what, 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 what is it? We didn't start the fire. It was only going since the world's been turning or something rather. I think right. Help me out there. You understand. You know what I'm talking about. You did not just touch my goddamn radio. Thank you, Darren. The Beach Boys are going to give you a good ass whooping. All right. <laughs> thank you, Darren, for that. Appreciate it. Thank you for the super chat. Very generous of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Darren. Get wrecked indeed. Indeed. Oh, my Lord. Definitely a Titan 1C class ship. It's hell-bent on sinking. Watch out for any icebergs. <laughs> Hello, Yorkie. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Where's that one section at? Oh, it's like right there. Okay, so right here. He's repairing it. So he, he, he's fixing it up. There we go. Okay. Well done. Thank you, I guess. So we, we've done the tutorial. The like an hour tutorial. Watch out for that. 
um interesting sandbox mode and campaign They're like this is interesting right a uh, campaign would be like historical events sandbox mode would be obviously sandbox mode right um <clears throat> i'm kind of interested in the campaign right normal easy or hard f f and f send me on normal good man um skip the tutorial we've already done the tutorial don't talk to me about that always burning since the world's been turning there we go yo You can make your own admiral, dude? Yo, this is obviously... Kans... Kans Merle. 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 Admiral. 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 Kans Merle. Am I spelling that right? <laughs> Yo, this is sick. Oh, the mustache, man. Hey. Yo, I kind of like that. That gives me a little bit of Tom Hanks vibes. Yo, that guy has his hat on crooked. He might be a rebel. That guy has his hat on crooked too. That looks like Guy Bazirian. That guy's very happy to be here. That guy is too old to be here. Oh, there's so many like portraits. Oh, look at that. A little bit of smoky smoke. I love that. Um, yeah, I I'm I'm here for who am I here for? I'm here for him. Yeah, I'm here for him. Starting order, DC uh, reinforcements. What the heck does that mean? So pick your starting order. Oh, adds an extra DC team. You can. It's like perks, kind of. Um, plus 50 miles radar range. Plus two carrier defense and escort defense. Um, honestly, oh, this is damage control team. You can have an extra damage control team. Honestly, I'm thinking about defensive position, maybe. I mean, we just saw how, how we did, you know, with everything. Let's do defensive position. It's fine. Voice. One voice. Hard work is what keeps the ship moving. Right on, brother. Hard work is what keeps the ship moving. Yeah, more more of less my voice. Like, less I'm not a burly man, <laughs> if you haven't noticed. <laughs> face one. Face two. Face three. Face four. Let's be two. Holy crap, dude. Um... Now, I know they're not going to be having what I, you know, you got to be clean cut and groomed for the military. I get it. I do like the hat. <laughs> That's the hat you get at In-N-Out. Uh, I do like that hat. It's like a khaki. You could have a, like a khaki or white. Navy color. Red color. I don't, red. That's kind of insane, right? Uh, visitor. No, we are not a visitor of our own ship here. Uh, I like the khaki. We'll do the khaki. Okay accessories yo you can have aviators i mean come on that's a very uh you know or you could have just round gold glasses dude i don't know i like the i like the i, I like the aviators i'm a little bit you know binox a cigarette a pipe a curved stem i would have neither i would have none service we can have the khakis the whites, the grays, the full dress blues. This is really cool. I was not expecting this. Um, overcoats. Uh, dress shirts. This is actually neat, too. You could be very, very casual if you wanted to. I do like the like the shirt there. Rolled sleeves. Yeah, give me the rolled sleeve khaki. Shirt and a tie. Possibly. Shirt and a tie. I do like myself a tie. But I, I rolled out of bed, so I don't need a tie. Let's just do that. Very casual, but very, like... I'm here to work also with the hat. <laughs> Dress pants. Honestly, I think the pants are fine. I'm not wearing short pants. No. If you ever catch me outside wearing short pants, something has gone terribly wrong. What the hell is that? What is actually that? <laughs> what the heck, dude? This is... What? <laughs> Give me the gray. Khaki on khaki is way too much. Too much khaki. No no khaki. <laughs> my husband loves the Beach Boys. We listen to it all the time on our honeymoon. I love the Beach Boys too. My grandma is a big uh, Beach Boy. She, she brought us up with the Beach Boys for sure. That's fine. Send me. Oh my god, dude. We're all gonna need two kilograms of panties after that fire. Okay, so what the heck is this, dude? 
Oh, look at this. So this is the dock. We have the crew. Yo. Bye. Now this is so... Like the tutorial doesn't talk about any of this. You buy your units. We have 15 what seems to be currency points or command points. We have upgrade points. Officer slot. Crew units. The tutorial told us nothing about this. We can have 8, 8, and 8. So 8, 16, 24. We're going to have fighter jets or fighter aircraft, dive bombs, torpedo bombs. It would be kind of cool if you saw this game in a modern sense, right? A modern world. Um... We could have more than the other if we wanted. We could carry, but I'm going to, you know, or just for, I mean, look, look at this. This is crazy. We can upgrade, right? Increase radar range if we use our upgrade points. Increase AA stations. Increase hangar capacity. Dude, this is sick. So what if I were to do increase radar range? And it actually puts an antenna on the carrier. That's really neat. That's really neat. Oh, we could change the name. So this is the U.S. Saratoga. This is the U.S. Oh, and it actually changes the name on the on the ship too, right next to my forehead. Oh, that's really good. This is the USS Minnow Minnow Johnson. This is the SSS USS the SSS Minnow Johnson. I can't spell it all right. <laughs> um, let's go small uh, Johnson. <laughs> This is the SSS Minnow Johnson. If you know what that is, shout out to you. Um, and then Lexington, Yorktown, or the Essex. There you go. There you go. You gotta have Lexington, Yorktown, or Essex. So if you choose different types, so, so we have Lexington. So Lexington has one plane elevator, six maximum deck slots, 82 sections below deck, nine island rooms, Yorktown. Has three plane elevators, seven, 72, 10 island rooms. To unlock this carrier, first unlock all the following upgrades. So if we wanted to get to Yorktown, we have to go radar range, AA station, officer slots, hangar capacity, crew slots, and then the Essex. Oh, that's so good. That's really good. Cool. I like that. SSS Middle Johnson, though. That's where we're at. Escort. Now, our escort crew could be something of all different kinds, right? Um... My lord, buy unlock. My god, this is all crazy. You can upgrade your escort size. The Singamon, the S Type 2, um, Squadron of Submarines, radar range. Okay, so we can buy submarines. We can buy, oh my god, dude, I don't even know where to start. I'm so, this is like so much, right? I feel like this is a lot. There's so much going on here. Uh, crew a novice unit i think a crew is obviously the way we want to go when buying we're gonna need um these are just different people they're all the novice unit right upgrade uh officer slots crew unit slots i mean i right one yeah yeah they're all just one so we want to buy a bunch of units or crews right doesn't seem like they all differ anyways so yeah, first things first, probably want to fill the ship. I don't know if this is too much. I don't think this is too much. I mean, having available personnel is probably very important. Probably spend your money this way, right? I don't know how much we can buy. Okay, you can keep buying and keep buying and keep buying. Right. Okay. <laughs> uh, do we spend all of our money on, on units? I don't know, dude. Uh, possibly? Just to keep the ship running? Let's do that. And then let's go over to, like, the carrier itself. And let's upgrade our um, AA stations. And then let's upgrade our radar range. So now we have that completely maxed out, yeah? So then the Yorktown, that completes one of the objectives for Yorktown as a radar range. Very good. SSS Minnow Johnson. I think we're ready to launch. So let's go. So we want to launch. So... This is the Wake Island Rescue. Now, I don't know how, how like, historic this is all going to be, but our mission would be locate and destroy the enemy characters to stop its attack on Wake Island. Launch a recovering mission to rescue the civilian VIP trapped in the island's garrison. That sounds crazy. Uh, minimum units destroyed, maximum squadrons lost, and finish the mission within 20 hours. So they will give us five currency command points and six upgrade points if we finish this mission within 20 hours. Are you kidding me <laughs> looks like we're coming right out of 
but seems to be Hawaii here. Yeah, this is definitely Hawaii. The current circumstances in the theater of war will not affect your next mission in any way. Okay. So, the situation shifts constantly. Finishing some missions separately changes the state of affairs during the following mission. Change of circumstances. Show how the circumstances will change after the selected mission. Okay. Let's begin. I guess we'll have to see and we'll, we'll, we'll go, right? Wake Island has just been attacked by the Japanese Navy, Admiral. There is a White House official on the island visiting our base there. We cannot okay. get to him while the island is under fire. So we need to find the exact location of the enemy carrier attacking the base. Okay. And destroy it. Once that has been dealt with, we will have a short space of time within which to carry out the rescue. You must launch a rescue mission to the base, where our men will take the VIP on board for a safe return to our carrier. <laughs> Wonder if they'll keep it, keep it limited to U.S. Navy. Don't get me wrong, I'm fine with it. They do, but it was all, it was not the only nation to deploy World War II to aircraft carriers. So I'm curious. I don't know what the actual historic is when it comes to uh, World War II and which aircraft carriers were deployed versus which aircraft carriers were involved right what nation's aircraft carriers uh, were involved and what were lost i don't know the actual st statistic for all any of that okay so here we are because that you know the, deployed obviously one thing but in in war in battle in actual stands right what in the theater of war how many were there and what what nations did uh, do this and do whatnot, right? So, obviously, we got to find out where this aircraft carrier is. I'm assuming it's right there, right? So, we want to set up a recon mission. So, we want to prepare for a recon mission to send uh, to go from here and then recover back at home. Enemy scout was detected. That sucks. Uh, so, we're already, like, personally, ourselves have already been detected. Uh, so, there is a scout above. Love, hate that, actually. Uh, let's go to our island, and we want to tell some of our admirals here, especially me. We want to identify, have identify target mission. And then this admiral, we want to, um, we want to go over here to the meteor meteorology room, and we want to add a recon mission. And then this admiral. Add one times uh, damage control, boost and gain direct. Um, okay, damage control, boost efficiency, air cap missions, airstrike mission, uh, carrier defense. Probably maybe come down here and think about a carrier defense potentially. Okay, there's a few things happening here, right? We want to go to our deck. Uh, sorry, let's move to our deck and then come through here. And then we want to put our planes out. So we want to have fighters out. We want to get two fighters, two dive bombs, potentially, and a couple of torpedoes. Maybe one torpedo. Maybe less on the aircraft, on the fighters, right? Britain, America, and Japan are the only nations to mass produce carriers. Okay, so... We have two, just give us a sec, we're gonna get there. We're gonna have two up and running here in a sec. And then we're gonna have to move, or I guess there already are are in launch uh, launch position here. And then I guess we can send out our aircraft fighters to go and maybe take down that spy. I'm not sure, we'll see here. Okay, we can launch those, launch those guys right now. Get them going, let's go launch them out. Hurry, 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 you have an hour before I guess the spy leaves. Uh, we do want to control something here. Uh, not that. We do want to control our own uh, management. Uh, let's see here. Use a cat mission to increase the defense of the value of both your carrier. No, we're not ready for that. Uh, management. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are we doing? Okay, everybody's doing everything they, they need to do. Okay. I think because we have more planes coming out, we have to wait on our launch here. Right? Right? We gotta wait for these planes to come out, and then we can launch. Come on, come on, get the torpedoes out. There we go. Okay. Now we're starting engines, getting this aircraft going. We're getting these car not th I keep saying carriers, but getting these fighters out and rolling. Putting them out. 
as we have yeah they're going they're sending i don't know if these guys are going to stick around though okay so what happens if these guys go out and counter the scouts they're going to shoot them down yeah it should be let's see here okay there they are in the sky let's see are they going to get shot down or are they just chilling dude or are they going to fly away you know i'm not sure the section below deck is That's a fun us. Hey. I see me the ball. Okay, hang on a sec. To all the lurkers. Hails to chat and hails to cans, destroyer of enemy ships. <laughs> German road crew. Thank you so much for the 20 tip. Really appreciate that. Big shout. Thank you. Wish I knew who the heck what or what was going on there with you. But uh thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. That was very 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 generous of you to do. Um and I, I, I don't know what else to say, right? That <laughs> It always is a surprise, but it always comes through. So thank you so much for that 20. Uh, I really do appreciate that. Uh, big, big shout to German Road Crew. Thank you so much. Now, um, we want to go down to below, yeah? Let's go to the sections. Let's see. So one thing we want to do is get these guys rolling. So we want to go here, get that rolling, damage control. Right? Oh god, that made me dizzy. This is fine. That's fine. So that guy should be doing damage control just fine. Now, we'll see what happens when the time does return for 30 seconds or 30 hours or 30 minutes. I don't know what, what that is actually is. Oh, I guess 30 seconds or minutes. Sorry, minutes. We'll get that going on. This should be damage control should be just about done. We have one person on fire, one person on repair. So the counter, we countered the scouts on September 12th of 1941. The enemy scout has been destroyed. Very good. All right. Cool. All right. So everything has now been kind of checked off. Let's go ahead and recover. All right. We want to recover our planes. A plane is approaching Bring them in. Recover our planes. That's a spicy meat ball. That is exactly right. I think France might have... Uh, had or designed one carry, but I don't know if it ever was used in any way. Uh oh. Tactical map information. So what do we have here? So we have our fleet, and then we have a couple of unknown objects off into the uh, off into the abyss here. Now, if we wanted to, we could tell our fleet to kind of back away, right? Like, hey, uh, guys, let's like back up a bit or even flank to the right. We're kind of being shifted here, right? We have a spot here. We have a spot here coming on the left and the right. Maybe if we were to go over there. You know, move our fleet in that direction. We won't we won't be sandwiched in so much. You know, kind of take head on for one person at a time. How's our defenses here? So defense position. I mean, we have scouts now, right? So the, the thing about the scouts, right? We want to put everyone in the launching position now. Um, the thing about the scouts now is that, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, no, no. We want to recover. Sorry, 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 sorry. Don't launch. Don't launch. Come back. Come back, please. Oh, no. Don't don't go back and launch, please. Stay in the recover state. Son of a gun. Oh man, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, <clears throat> but I kind of lost myself. I lost myself in the sauce there. I was I was saying something interesting, and then like I was saying something reasonable, and then I totally lost it. The deck. For okay, come on, come on, bring him back. I totally messed up there. Okay, bring him in. All right, they should come in. Bring them in! Did we, we didn't lose those those fighters, did we? We better not have lost those fighters. I don't think we did. Yeah, I don't think we lost them. We could have. We want to prepare ourselves, though. Now for there. You were detected by the enemy? Okay. Like, like calm down. 20, 50 things are happening, okay? Okay, let's go to launching. Clear the flight deck and prepare for I guess, I, did we lose those planes? They didn't come back. And I can't, like, tell them to come back either. Okay, let's launch these guys off. Issue a fighter squadron on the deck. Looks like we have just a couple of planes Issue left now. Yeah. On, on a mission. So there are two aircraft carrier, or, or sorry, aircraft fighters that are on, um, on mission still. Okay, event information has been updated, right? Okay. Maybe, like, take back and, like, cancel that? I don't want to spend too much oil now looking at it, right? Okay, we want to do uh, just a simple recon. 
recon there and come back that's what we want to do confirm that okay that will get going right they should be going into launch now yep let's go ahead and launch them okay they're gonna go try out that and see what's going on over there in one direction one of them could be whales and the other could be a, an aircraft carrier you know enemy aircraft carrier or a, a pot of whales who knows what it could be Okay, so now they're off and doing their thing. And then, like, we could, like, also maybe, like, do an identity check here, too, as well. Like, what if we were to send off a, you know, wait a sec. If I did that, would that work? Yeah, and, you know, what if we send off a recon and an identity, um, identity squadron? What would happen then? Okay, so we have those guys going out. We should probably, like, kind of plan for them to be recovered. So let's get into the recovery state already. They're going to take a few hours to do their job here. Tactical map has been updated. Let's see here. Let's see. So they're... Okay, so an air fleet. Six Japanese air fleet. Holy crap, dude. Their armor and their, their attack is crazy. <laughs> Holy crap. Right. That's a lot. Okay, your scouts have detected an enemy. Yeah, that 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 potentially could whoop some ass. Potentially whoop some freaking ass. Thanks for running this, by the way. I have it wishlisted out of curiosity. We want to see the gameplay to decide on buying it. Yeah, no problem. Um, like thankfully, like I was given a key for this by the publisher, but like it was it was cool. It's, it's so far it's cool. There's a, there's a lot. There's so much here, right? So so much here to pick up. And in the beginning, I was thinking of this game kind of being like a Mr. Prepper thing, but it's definitely not that. It's definitely, it's a, it's a very unique kind of game here that's happening, which is cool. Okay, so what do we have here? Counter Scouts. Um, so Counter Scouts will last for about an hour. I don't know, our missions are still ongoing for now. So what we could do is we could put our put ourselves in a recovery state. Or sorry, launch state, not recovery state. We can launch out against these uh, spies, hopefully. We have the capabilities. Two fighters. Do we have two fighters out here? Yeah, two fighters. That's two fighters. Yeah, so we're going to launch those aircrafts and go ahead and counter those spies. I know our defense is like super, super low. Okay, now we're under attack. Holy crap, dude. Um, I see. Right, so four people coming in right now. So we need to man the deck. This is so much. <laughs> oh my god. I, 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 like, little bit, li like, tiny, tiny, little bit, little bit overwhelmed, uh, like, overwhelmed here. Especially, like, on the first mission, like, the first uh, campaign mission. So we want to take our admirals and we want to do uh, carrier defense, right? Uh, then we want to take another admiral and maybe do a boost efficiency in potentially, um, you know what? Boost efficiency in the air department. Let's do that. Take this admiral and do... Um, yeah, damage control. Damage control for sure. Uh, one deflooding and maintenance. And yeah, I, I like that. Prepare, prioritary is preparing dive bombers. Okay, that's interesting. Recon missions, airstrike missions, identify target missions, airstrike missions. I think I just have too many recon missions uh, available to us. Okay, there's a lot of things going on here. Okay. You're, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Strike group should be sending out, right? Okay, counter spies. That sh or counter, you know, scouts. Hang on a second. Let's go back to the deck now. Let's see here. So, they they should be out there, right? They, yeah, the, 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 fighter, the fighter planes should be out there. Oh, my God. This is not good. This is definitely not good. So, there's the fleet. Now that the fleet is actually getting closer to us, which F, there's a neutral ship and another neutral ship. I love that there's neutral ships in the, uh, in the, in the ocean as well. Um, right. Uh, okay. Take me back. So we should have these guys out there, right? Time to return. So we got to like, maybe go back into recovery now. Okay, we have some counter spy or counter scouts recovering in about 15 minutes, give or take. Let's move these, move this plane over, and kind of prepare for the recovery. Okay, let's see here. One minute. Okay, time's up. 
The enemy scouts have been destroyed. Very good. Okay, so that's good. Now they should be able to recover. Let's go and recover those planes. The other people are still on the mission. They actually are wrapping up here very, very soon. 30 minutes or so. Yeah, 30 minutes for a couple. We have identify and we have recon. So I think I have two recons reconning the same uh, spot, which that, again, that's my bad. My bad indeed. Okay, we'll wait for these recoveries to come through. And then, yeah, we'll wait here. Now, what we could do is also is we could think about launching launching another recon, but launch it for this question mark. But that's so far out of the way now. I think our main priority is this uh, this fleet right here. Yeah, pretty much, pretty pretty freaking much. Let's see here. Yeah, we got to figure out how to take out that thing. That's going to be uh, a pain. I, I don't know. This could go absolutely, like, wrong. This could go way wrong. Okay, so let's wait for an hour until we get this uh, next recon plane back in. And then what we'll do is, I guess we will try to plan on uh, bringing in... There is a fire oh, shoot. There's the uh, freaking attack. Damage control is needed. Okay, damage control sections there is a fire below deck. oh no dude this could all be going very very bad very very bad now our defense is terrible i will say we could have um this <laughs> increase our like defense up I, like one issue here is obviously the defense right the defense is is is, is terrible but my lord um I just realized there's a night cycle. Hey, we're in the nighttime. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I, I kind of like the like the constant state of daytime because now it's nighttime. Now it's hard to see, right? Okay, now we can go ahead and recover these planes. Let's recover them. Mickey Mouse symbol is the revealed area of the map. Are you kidding me? Let's see. Just about, right? <laughs> um... Right. Okay, so now let's put them in a launch sequence here. Put them in launch order. As soon as these guys are recovered. So they have been now recovered. That attack didn't last long. I guess not. Right? I was a little scared, though. Still a little scared. Okay. Back on this. Everybody back into a launch uh, sequence here. So, what does that tell us? Well, let's see where our management's at right now. Management's fine. Okay. Very well. Um... I know my strike group's not moving. We're trying to figure out what to do here. Minish has mission has not been activated in the island. So let's go ahead and get our mission out, right? We want to get our mission, maybe mission and or um, something else, potentially, like a, a like an airstrike mission, I guess you could say. So let's talk to our admiral here and be like, hey, my man, since everything is fine, can we do like a mission of some sort? Yeah, let's go here and let's add a airstrike mission. Yeah, let's do an airstrike mission, potentially against the Japanese flight that's off to our, like, north. Do that. And then you, let's get you ready for air department, or air department efficiency, which I like. And then over here, we will do, um, ready, sir. I would like to do you to turn the dive bomber seem important. I don't know, like, I guess Roger that. chill out for there for right now. <laughs> okay, so this should open up our attack. Now, attacking at night, probably not the best thing to do, right? I, I believe that 100%, especially back in this day and age, right? Uh, probably not the best, best thing to do. So let's prepare an airstrike and see what happens here, right? Let's prepare an airstrike. We want to airstrike the Japanese air fleet. This could go, again, this could go terribly wrong, right? Um, so we have 11 attack, the anvil attack, which is attack and defense of a maneuver of number five slot, depending on what our number five, five spot, uh, spot is. There's lone wolf, defense of all offensive maneuvers, defense of the next two maneuvers. Okay. So I wonder how, whoops, that's not how I wanted. I wonder how some of these so let's see defense here one in five okay 
Adjacent. Okay. Defense of the previous manu maneuver. Maneuver? That says maneuver. Oh, so that's... I thought that said maneuver. It says maneuver. I want to do attack. And then a flank of... That's... That could be good, but that could be bad. I do like the added defense, but this is just so so far out of our reach here i feel like unless we did all attack and then like strike from above this would give us 60 or strike from the sun this would give us 60 attack 39 defense which wouldn't be able to do anything really to any of like i guess maybe certain things like the light cruisers it could take out even the destroyer, but it's not going to take out the entire, the entire mission is not going to go very well, right? Um, analysts of the current strategy suggests that at least two of your squadrons will suffer damage. Identifying all of the enemy targets would allow for a better prediction. Well, then, analysts of the current strategy suggests that it's the, that the attack will destroy at least zero enemy targets. So yeah, this, def this attack already... It's not doing anything. It's not going to do them any good at all. So we're really, really, really shafted there. So this fleet is just incredible. Now, we could just send our send our people over there. Now, I don't know how you would do that. I guess like a mission. Is that called a mission? Or is that... That's probably called the mission. Let's see here. Let's go... Let's, let's dive into the mission here. So we're almost out of like fuel here, which is kind of crazy. But let's dive into... Um, Let's go into island and see if this is a mission thing. So if we go here, we want Sir. this admiral. Oh god. Hang on a sec, guy. Uh airstrike mission, cap mission. Um uh, Yeah, cap mission, right? I think that's what we want to look into. Cap missions. Let's go up here. On my way. Yeah, let's go up. No, that's not where I wanted to go. Where was it? Right here. I want to go right here. Go right here. Go right here. No, 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 no. Go down here. Go down here, my good man. Right here. Right here. No, no, no. Don't go upstairs. Come back down. Come back down. Awaiting order. Right here. Okay. I guess I can't move him. All right. We'll move you there. No. Move you there. Can nobody come here? Ready, sir. Because I want to do a cap mission. Unless they can't move a lot. Maybe you have to wait for their energy. Is there like some kind of... Uh, I spelt that wrong, by the way. Um, maybe there's like a time where they, they just can't move Awaiting. past a certain time. I'm not sure. Sir. Interesting. So if we send a mission off to the Wake Island base, I assume that will do everything the way it needs to do. I don't know. I, I don't know. I really don't know. Let's do a recon mission. And let's do it at the base. And let's see what happens. And let's prepare that. Uh, excuse me. I said this. Okay. Maybe not. Okay, let's try it now. Prepare. There we go. To there. And then confirm. Okay, that should be good, right? Okay, I just I cancel one of those. Okay, I see. Launch that. I see. Okay, I see what I did wrong there. Okay, so it is the nighttime. We're gonna be sending them off, and we'll see what happens if they go and like recon this out, right? We'll go and see what happens when they recon this out. Sir, a member oh, of your Jesus staff Christ. medical aid. Oh Have Jesus! Oh no! Firmly. Somebody go get him! Your staff requires urgent medical aid. God, there's just so much. There's just so much going on, man. It really is. Uh, this is... <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. Bring us back up to the deck. Let's learn. I think... I think one thing I'm a little... I'm a little upset... I, I will say. I will say, honestly. Like, one thing I'm a little upset about with the game is... Is, is the tutorial was very... Um, very one about it right what i mean by one about it it was very um it relied on text right it relied on text and voice what i mean by that is you had to read the big sub box 
and then do the one thing, right? And you did the one thing and that was it, right? However, did you fully understand what the game was trying to teach you? That I think is that's on a on a different level, right? There's a lot of other tutorials that really make it clear on what to do and what not to do, uh, clearly. But then there is like a whole part of this game, right? There's a whole part of this game where, um, focus now. where you saw that the tutorial doesn't go over any of it, and that was like the beginning, right? Where we set off Subscribe. before our hey, Kathleen. Kath Kathleen? Kathleen? Kathleen Sack, thank you for the subscriber. Hello, Arwen. Um, there was a part... Hello, Jeremy. There was a part where you... Uh, hey, subscribe. You were not told about. Thank you, Giotto. Giotto? 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 Thank you for the subscription. Appreciate that. But yeah, you know, I don't know. Yeah, it seems like the first mission is a real tutorial trial and error. It is. I would say so trial and error wise. But if I think there's a little bit of a learning curve here for sure. Oh and, my yo, goodness. what the heck just happened? This place is off the hook. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. Good to see you, Matthew. How you doing? Hope you all is well. Thank you for that. Appreciate you. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well indeed. Now it's raining. I love the weather dynamic here though. Um yeah, thank you, Matthew. Big shout out to you. Big, big shout. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate that. I don't think the, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I really do not know. So we confirm that there's a neutral outpost, right? So like this, for an example, a mission where there's the, the, the bunker system and which there is a VIP. How are you supposed to know exactly what the VIP and how to finish a mission like this with VIPs? We knew how to vaguely uh, escort the ship we knew how to vaguely supply the ship we knew how to vaguely um uh defend the ship but everything else is more of like just go ahead and do it yourself now there's this big help button right the flight deck is where that you can go through and and and, and, and do a lot right to coordinate flight deck you can watch all the videos you can know this and that and that and this now this is obviously a tutorial where you probably would would learn more than the tutorial itself if that makes sense so this help screen would probably help you way more than the tutorial itself so i don't know big ups big ups we are awake now <laughs> yeah so hmm so the recon mission did do its thing it it it, it was how it was right it was how it was i don't know i don't know I don't know how I'm feeling, really. It's a very dark screen, too. Um, time goes by, and there is no, like, set daytime, which I, I do not like, kind of, in games. Can't set, like, an all-day thing. But um, I, I, def def I definitely believe, like, this is, this is like, uh, something that... I, I don't think it's a bad game. I don't think this is a bad game at all. Let me just make the record clear there. I don't think it's a bad game, but I do believe it does hamper to some niche very well it's not a casual casual giddy up right this is this is more of a um hardcore hardcore you could say survival simulator game in a way i don't know it, i think it's just different because of if you want to play this game you, you you should probably have the knowledge of war you should probably have the knowledge of naval right all these different things how things go on and things, you know, proceed in, in, in out, out at sea, right? But, I don't know. I don't know. I was expecting this game to be a little different in terms of survival. Like, obviously, we're surviving in the war, right? We're doing this. But I thought there was going to be more, more of uh, management. More of a, um, here's your crew. Here's your fleet. You know, there will be attacks. We There will be fighting. But we also need to... We need to expand, and we need to we need to uh, do within right of the of the, of the of the crew themselves, right? I don't know. Maybe I was expecting more of that, but it's not a bad game at all. I think there are a few things that could be adjusted, but I think it's a pretty cool game overall. But is it for you? I guess that's you know you're you have to determine that yourself, right? You have to determine if it's a game for you or not. I think it's a game that takes a lot of patience for sure too. 
help screens where the real learning is, but that's not something you could spend a lot of time streaming in help screens. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. Like, I think for stream content-wise, this game is a little bit, probably a little bit repetitive um, and things like that, stream-wise, right? I, I, I'm not reviewing the game in the sense of gameplay because I think it's solid as hell. But overall, in a stream, stream way, I don't know if it's a... Uh, because if I did a mission and then I did a next mission, you know, how much gameplay are you getting that's diversified? There could be more. There could be more, but how much more, right? Plus, sitting here waiting for these hours to come through, waiting for these planes to go out, sending missions out and doing attacks, and seeing how, like, even if we tried to take out a fleet or attack a fleet or something like that, you could see the deck building is, is a very complicated matter. And that could, and somebody said it in chat, already that deck building does put them off so when they see a deck building within a game like this they're like i don't know if i really want to sit here and, and fondle over the cards and, and and build a deck and try to match and try to get the best out of the boosts and things like that i think they would want to build statistically statistically a good fleet all in one instead of like this flank over here this defense over here this card boosts this card and this card boosts this card over here but if you know you hey but if you have um, i think if you boost this over here boost that over there i don't think a lot of people appeal right I do like card building games or deck building games when it's a deck building game. But this is like a survival simulator type game with the element of deck building. And some people don't really like that. Um, and, you know, if you have to use deck building as a primary source to advance your gameplay. What I mean by that is you have to use the deck building. You, you have no alternative. You have to deck build in order to fight, to progress. To fight in the missions to progress in the mission right and i think i think when it comes to for instance like the deck building in all of itself i think another thing that i think it's just overwhelming for people right i think people are just like i don't want to sit here and think about the best possibility of multiplying my attack by 75 percent by 80 percent by 25 percent People don't want to do that sometimes, but some people do, right? It's, it's an on and off thing, right? So if you like deck building, um, if you like, it, it, see the, the survival, the survival part of it, what is, what is the most thing that you're surviving? You're surviving attacks, right? You're not surviving in a different sense. So survival, cause the game is called survival, right? I, I would take it in, in a different text sometimes like a different term like most survival games that i've played are a little bit different than this right little little bit different than this of course but yeah deck building interesting 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 take i gotta say right interesting take indeed um all we gotta all all as well gotta send the cash for the project hospital playthrough i'm enjoying that game because your playthrough oh that's very nice of you thank you so much matthew yeah i'm having a lot of fun with project hospital for sure i feel like they're they were going for a more realistic approach on this game because if you think about it going into war is learning as you go true my husband just bought project hospital for me i haven't had time to play it yet but i really want to when you do end up playing it i have to say giddy up you know I've been told that a lot of people that play Project Hospital, they have to start more than once, right? Um, but yeah, I personally don't like deck building part that much. Good preview of the game. Uh, this game, this game is my jam, but it's not going to appeal to a broad audience. That's all. See that exactly. You're you're right on that. It, it, it's it's all it's all it's all dependent, right? It's all dependent. I don't know if it would appeal to a broad audience as it is. I think, like I said, I think it's a niche type game for sure. I already I already bought project or package inspector. Now I need to get this too. I'm gonna call in sick tomorrow. I do believe this game is a solid game, but I do believe this game is definitely in a niche genre, um, it, which is not bad. It's not bad at all. But I I did I did enjoy the time I did put into this for right now. But uh, stream wise, I you know I think this is a game you definitely 
if you were on the fence about and you wanted to learn more about this game i hope that i can i could have showed you some gameplay that maybe influenced you into buying this game because it is a good game um yeah so you know i think that's i think that is where we're gonna kind of nip it off today oh my yo goodness. on my forehead this place is off are you the kidding hook? me <laughs> thank you thank you thank you for that <laughs> oh my god um i think that was was that a repeat i think it's a repeat the repeating i don't know why they're repeating the on my forehead though the beach boys is great american music the beach boys gonna get you a great ass <laughs> it was a it was already it was re replayed i don't know why it replayed just wish we could see a little better at night just for gameplay reasons i understand the atmosphere of the situation but gamers need to see yeah you know and, and that's the thing like you know if there was like a toggle option where you have daytime all the time that'd be cool but i do like the dynamic weather the dynamic weather is pretty cool indeed for sure have a great evening morning afternoon you too leslie thank you so much leslie for the, your generosity as well um but yeah i think this game probably uh hits different with other people right but i think it's a pretty cool game overall i do i do um I'm going to be live streaming again tomorrow, so watch out for that. We're going to be playing a new game uh, tomorrow on stream as well. Uh, a new game that I was given because it releases, I think, on the 21st. So we're going to be playing another game tomorrow, streaming it. And it's a tycoon game. I won't spoil it. You can check the, check the home channel for yourself and see what it is here later today. But at least we've seen what aircraft survival... Uh, what is this? Aircraft carrier survival is all about. Uh, the same people that are going to be making, uh, what game was it? I forgot what game was it. It was the, uh, uh, my lord. It was the, uh, House Flipper City. They're going to be making House Flipper City as well. So if you are interested in the devs and if you think the devs did a pretty, or the publishers are dev, if you think they did a very good job on Aircraft su Survival as a game itself, go ahead and take a look at House Flipper City, oh. City of Atlantis, and... You son of a this gun. Place is off the hook. <laughs> Repeat. <laughs> Repeat. Oh my god, Matthew. What the heck? Thank you. Appreciate that. Um Thank you so much. Appreciate that, Matthew. Very generous. That you guys, you guys are being extra generous today. So 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 kind. Um so yeah, tomorrow. Uh look out for a new um a new stream, a new tycoon game. I had to stop with aircraft survival and that's just a personal that's just me um i feel like there's a lot of stuff that is it, it, a lot of stuff that if i had to sit here and take my time i definitely could um but there's just too too much going on for a stream i not too much going on for a stream but too much um i would have to sit here and maybe be quiet for a few hours and really think about um hmm what should I do, right? And I don't know how that appeals to most people here on the channel. But at least we looked at Aircraft Carrier Survival. Um, I do appreciate that the publishers do handing me a key to check out this game. And I know that it's going to change uh, some people here in the community. They are going to be picking up this game regardless. Um, I know some people are going to be picking this up immediately tomorrow. Which if you liked what you saw and you want to, you know, at least I didn't spoil too much for you, right, in today's stream. You can definitely go and pick up this game tomorrow. Um, I don't know the price of it, which I wish I, you know, I knew these things, but I don't. I don't, usually the, even the developers don't want to give you the price details until the day it drops either. So usually that's how it is. Um, back to the Cat Cafe. Yeah, and that's another thing is like, I know where I'm feeling and I know how I feel about this game. So I know that I can take my energy and put it back into uh, current series that are going on now. Cat Cafe Manager, uh, Project Hospital, um, and other games that will soon uh, eventually come to the channel as well. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I want to say a special thank you to Purple Panther for becoming a member of the channel. Really do appreciate that. Oh, friggin' baby. Thank you so much for becoming a member of the channel. I want to say thank you to Leslie for the super chat today. I want to say thank you to Darren two times. Uh, thank you, Darren, for the super chat as well. German Road Crew, thank you for the tip as well. Don't know where it's all coming from and I don't know where you came from, but thank you. <laughs> appreciate that and then waking matthew matthew thank you matthew for uh the double pete on the super chat we will talk again soon guys we will talk again tomorrow same time 12 pacific 12 p.m pacific standard time so do watch out for that we will be playing a new game tomorrow 
I don't know how the quality of that game is going to be, but it looked interesting, and I think we'll have some fun regardless anyways. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Norman. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Have a good whatever you are, whatever you are, wherever you are. Have a good anything and all that. Um, if you want to keep up with me, you can absolutely keep up with me. You can follow me on Twitter. And you can follow me on Instagram, where I just have now recently posted an Easter picture. Yes, we took a picture for Easter. Or I took a picture for Easter, and I, you know, said hi. <laughs> you can follow me on Instagram for that. You can also follow me on TikTok where you can see some short clips of me and some of the Let's Play series that we've had. And you can also become a Patreon. Uh, if you want to become a Patreon, the link is in the description below. And if you want to join instead, you can definitely join as well. Thank you, Manda Forever. Thank you, Shorty. Thank you, Darren. Thank you, everyone. And thank you, everyone that watched this up to this point. Really do appreciate your time and patience. And if I did, did not do the justice for you for this game and I did, you know, maybe grind a little bit of gears, I apologize in advance, but um, it is what it is, right? Uh, there are other games that we will forever prosper and get into later on in the future this year there's going to be a lot of great games that we play and there's going to be a lot of variety on the channel as well so thank you all and i will see you in the next one wherever that may be and do as always i mean like just take care right <laughs>